One term often used to refer to fruit is si ma xin dong. Si ma xin dong. This is an appropriate colloquialism because it describes anything that Hmong in general refer to or think of as a fruit. And that's something that comes from either a tree uh, or from a vine. However, there are exceptions to this rule. For example, peanut doesn't grow on a tree, but they refer to it as fei. Generally speaking, fruit, any food that Hmong refer to or think of as a fruit will be preceded by the word zi, zi, which means fruit. Now, names of fruits and vegetables are inconsistent. And this is the same in English. That's why we have Latin names for, um, or scientific names for fruit, because in one part of the world, people may call fruit something, in another word, part of the world, they call the same fruit something else. The Hmong is no different. In one part of the world, they may have one name for it, and in another part of the world, they may have another name for it. So the following are a list of fruits that are most common and universal in the Hmong language. Generally, if you say this fruit without any context, most people will understand what you're referring to, most Hmong people. C J fig. C J fig. C jua ta. C jua ta. A guava. Zi dua. Zi dua. A peach. Zi ma. Zi ma. A grape, or it translates literally to vine fruit or food, fruit of the vine. Zi gan zi. Zi gan zi. Or zi ma kia. Zi ma kia. From my experience, zi kanzu is much more common, and that's an orange. Zi lao hua seng. Zi lao hua seng. That's a peanut. Again, peanut doesn't grow on a tree, but it's considered a fruit. It's an exception. Zi lu shua. Zi lu shua. A tomato. A half exception, they grow on tiny trees. Zi o mi, zi o mi, or zi di ble, zi di ble. Again, zi o mi is by far the most common uh, word for tamarind that I've heard. Zi jing, zi jing, chestnut. Zi tao dong, zi. Tao dong papaya. Zi lu zhong. Zi lu zhong pomelo. Zi bla nyu. Zi bla nyu jackfruit. Zi cha. Zi cha banana. Zi bu. Lu, zi bu lu, pineapple, zi cai, zi cai, zi kao da, zi kao da, or zi zhao bo, zi zhao bo, mango. These are in the order from what I've experienced of. What's most common? Zi cai is most common. Zi kao dao, I've heard more, and zi dong bo, just a little bit. So you may be asking yourself after seeing that seemingly random looking grouping of fruits, where's everything else? Where's apple, strawberry? Where's the fruits I know? Well, the answer to that question is oftentimes a foreign language word for a fruit will be the one that sticks as opposed to whatever may be or may have been used in Hmong. So, for example, zi lu ji, zi lu ji, lychee. Or another example is zi strawberry. Now, your blood may be boiling hearing zi strawberry, and you may be asking the question, what about zi bao lia or zi bao pua? I've heard those for strawberry. Well, those are technically Hmong words for strawberry. But the answer to the question is the average person 
probably won't know that. If you were to go into a market um, that sells fruit and you ask, do you have zi bo lie or zi bo po? Many people would just shrug and say, what is that? But if you say zi strawberry, they know exactly what you're referring to. So in conclusion, the best thing you can do is try to learn as many as you can, as many words as you can for the long. And on top of that, try to listen carefully for what is common. I've tried to prepare this list, um, but ultimately your experience and listening will help you. I'll also be posting more resources, cheat sheets, and other things al along these lines on studymong.com so you can use them as a reference and keep learning about fruits. I hope that helps. See you in the next video.